Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Danny for Cup and Cakes Gourmet and today I'm gonna show you how to make Mario from my Super Mario Bros. video game. Before we start the video, please subscribe and press the bell button so you can get all the notifications for new videos. And before we start, I wanna show you guys this mini mouse. It's the tutorial that I wanna do to celebrate the 40,000 subscribers in my channel. So if you are not a subscriber yet, please give me that you know help and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family so when we reach 40,000 that's what you're gonna see here on the channel but today we're gonna start with Mario and we're gonna start with the green for the pipe um, he's gonna be coming up the pipe so the pipe is going to be the whole base of our cake topper so when you decide how big you bought your base is gonna do to be so you think about it how big it's gonna look later so make the size you need to start on um, the size you're gonna need for your cake to start right there um, I'm making my my stay like I think like 10 inches 11 inches tall I will measure and put it down below I'm not sure and now we're gonna start with the face I made a ball with the skin color and mark the center of the rolling pin and now I'm just gonna mark where I want his smile to be um, and then I am going to start pushing back the clay or the fondant or the gum base whatever you're using to start marking the bottom of his mouth and I'm gonna smooth as much as I can his mouth is kind of pretty easy to make and kind of hides under the mustache anyway but every step makes the difference to your end result so be patient and um, just make your love so we have the little mouth and then I just going to mark the bottom lip just a tiny little bit to give more life to that smile. Just like that. Be sure that everything is the way you want to be before it dries. Here we go. mark the eyes again to be sure that you don't lose the the position and then we're going to start with the body make a ball with the red and then you're going to push the ball a little bit and a, a table so it's going to be flat on the bottom and we're going to place on the top of the pipe i open a little blue and i'm cutting in a long rectangle very thin and i'm just going to make two kind of indentations on each side for the sleeves or his little um, overall You measure um, the size, the high, high is your body and how wide. We are just covering the front into the sides and then we're gonna do the same thing to the back. So that's the measurements you need to be to make your rectangle. If it's wide enough and it's tall enough. And now we're gonna repeat for the back and that's how I do. I make it and I measure and then I cut the excess off because then I know the size it need to be and then we place in the back. And the two edges that we made in both sides are gonna make the circle where the arms are going to be. I put a wood skewer and I'm cutting the excess off that's gonna hold my whole topper in shape and, and you know standing. And now I am going to place the head just like that. Now we're gonna start with two little balls in red to, for, to start making the arms. So we're just gonna push it down on the table, squish at the bottom and that's it repeat again for the other side just be sure that they are the same sizes so the really the we only trick i can tell you for that is then make your balls are the same size so normally you're gonna have the same thickness and size when you open the same thing with the hands i made two balls and a teardrop shape and i flatten out a little bit and now we're gonna cut a little v to separate the thumb and the rest of the fingers don't forget that he's not Mickey, so he has five fingers just like us. This is kind of the same hand that you make for Mickey, but Mickey and Donald and all of them just have four fingers, not five. I'm shaping the thumb. 
I'm making the thumb a little longer than normal because he has that fist, you know, that woohoo fist that Mario has. So to make sure that we're gonna see the, the fist, I'm making the thumb longer and bigger than I would normally do for a normal, normal hand. So we're gonna fold all the fingers in and then we're gonna fold down the thumb so he's gonna be on the you know Mario Bros fist let me get the coins kind of thing repeat the same process for the other hand and guys um I am going to have the giveaway um announcement pretty soon or here or on my Facebook or actually both and also on Instagram so keep tuned because we're gonna see who won so until I'm gonna do into like probably tonight so if you have left your comment and every single video on February and a like um, and be a subscriber please do because today we're gonna reveal who is gonna win and now we're going to do the same thing with the other fingers um, I thought that I lost a little bit of my marks, so you don't need to worry about it. You just mark it again to be sure that it's smooth and then has the fingers shape. And we're going to um, be sure that the thumb is a little longer than normal. And we're going to fold it, fold it down to make it a little... So now we're gonna make two little balls and then we're just gonna flat them out a little bit to put on the end, the bottom end of our arms, just to make the um, part of the sleeve of the glove, if that makes any sense. Um, so we're just gonna flat the little ball a little bit, put it there, and then we are going to start setting this up for the hands. So you can use flyer, flower wire or two picks or wood skewers i'm using two picks um so you use whatever you have in hand and then we're gonna place the hand on the arm the same thing to the other side just like that be sure that they are the same size and be sure if it's the size you need. As you see, I cut it off a little bit of the arms because I thought that the length was a little longer. And that's the best way for you to know if the parts of the body match is when we're putting all together. So if you think it's a little long, just cut it off. If you need to a little longer, just make it longer. And now I made two stripes in blue, very skinny and flat for the top of the overall. We're going to place right there between the separation of the arm and the body so we don't see that and he is almost dressed <laughs> we made two little balls in yellow just for the buttons and i put a toothpick for the nose as you can see i changed the toothpick in place just to be sure that the nose will be where it's supposed to be and I made two flat oval balls to, for the, to start the eyes. So the eyes goes right after the nose. So you have the big, big nose and then the eyes are almost at the edges of the nose. And now we're gonna make his mustache. I hope I can show you as, fat, as easy as it can be for this mustache. We're gonna make a row and thin the edges, flat it out. Make one side straight. squish the two edges together so you cannot have this long half moon cut the center where the nose are going to be mark to give a little um volume and look like hair and we're gonna place under this nose and now then you have in the face you can check as long as you need to be and you just cut and the v-shape the excess if you think then it's covering too much of his face and here it is now we're gonna make a uh, like a half of circle or you know as 
you can measure how much you need to cover, how big it needs to be for his hair, and we're gonna make the indentations like we did for the mustache, and we're gonna place in the back. Don't you worry about covering the top because he has the hat, so you don't need to waste your clay or fondant or the material and your time as well. And now I'm making two little balls and teardrop shape in skin color and marking the center, like to make a little um, C shape for the ears. Place in the sides, push inside to make the hole and to connect them to be sure that it's gonna stay where you need to stay. And now make two little pieces of a long snake thin on the edge just to make the little hair that comes on the front of the ear. And mark. Now we are going to make the hat. So it's a long teardrop shape, very thick. Then we're gonna get the front and squish it up. So it's like a cap. Right? So it's a teardrop shape, then you flat it out, but the top part you're gonna pull it up. It's easier to watch than to explain right now, but that's exactly what it is. It's a long teardrop shape, then I flat and I kind of fold it up the front. And now I'm squishing it with my fingers to make kind of indentation where the head's gonna be. I am making the same, same like semicircle that I made for the mustache for the red, for the, you know, the front part of his cap. Flat and a table because you want that flat front part very straight. And we're gonna place in on his head and the back as well. You need to be long and wide enough to cover where the hair is. And now we're going to put the other part of the head. Just like that. Connect them together. And we make two little tiny circles and flood them out for his blue eyes. Just like so, and eyebrows. Little balls for the center of the eyes. You can also paint it if you prefer. And a little bit of red mixed with the white for the center of his mouth. We're gonna put a flat circle on the top of his head where the M is. And we're gonna make a very tiny long snake for the teeth. And we're gonna place on the top of his mouth and make it straight. Now we're gonna open the green. You wanna open a little thick because it's the top part of his pipe. So that's where it's going to make all the difference and the finishing for the body and the pipe. Because now you just put the body on top of it, it looks like it's incomplete. But don't worry, because when you do that, it looks pretty cool. It looks like he's coming up and you don't see that seamless part. So we're just going to put it in the top. Just like that, leaving a little space between the Body. You don't need to, you are touching the pipe, the green part, but not touching the body. It's going to have a little space between them. Putting in the back, cut the excess. Here's a little water too smooth and disappear with this um, mark where the two clays are getting together. See, you have a little space between the body and the pipe. And now with the toothpick, I'm making just the light reflection in his eyes with the white and now we're gonna write a little M on the little circle do you guys want to see um Luigi too just if yes just leave me a comment below I can make Luigi or Yoshi I love Yoshi is the thing that I like the most of Mario 
video games <laughs> is the Yoji. So I'm pretty sure I want to make one. I haven't made it yet. I always say talk about it, but I've never made it. So maybe we can make it together. What do you guys want to see first, Luigi or Yoji? Just let me know down below. I outlined the M and now I'm filling it up. M is one of those letters that when you do like this, it's kind of complicated, but just look and make it work. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and share with your friends and family. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Have a good day.